In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the bearings of a Ploopy device. Ploopy Adept, Classic, Thumbball, any of the Ploopies, they all use the same type of bearings. That bearing is MR63ZZ steel roller bearings. And the main selling point of Ploopy devices is the, the high quality of the device itself, the key switches, the high pulling rate of the sensor and the lack of stiction on the ball as a consequence of these dynamic roller bearings. But stiction does develop over the course of about a year. It takes about one year for you to start experiencing stiction. And the cause is that these roller bearings are steel and they are not stainless steel. And the camera's not picking it up very well, but what my eyes see right here is the classic coating of rough brown rust around the outer surface of the bearing. And so the ball grinds over that rusty surface and you experience stiction. So I'm going to show you how to replace these bearings. I previously attempted to clean the bearings and that's, that doesn't work. Once they start rusting, you just need to replace them wholesale. Now, if you built your Ploopy device from a kit that you ordered, there's no reason to watch this video. You know how to replace the bearings you can move on. But if you bought a Ploopy device as a pre-built device, then you'll want to watch this video because the first thing you need to do is you have to purchase the Ploopy repair kit. And the reason is that these dowels that come with the kit, everything over here comes with the kit. The dowels that come with the kit are a very specific size, three millimeter by seven mil millimeters, my estimation, that you cannot find online. I searched everywhere and I purchased a bunch of dowels that are slightly smaller and slightly bigger. This is one that I tried, these metal dowels. And you can see actually, I'm gonna, when I replace these bearings in this video, I'm gonna do it live for my actual replacement for me. This is what I'm using currently, I did use I believe these are six millimeter dowels and I shoved them in the hard way with pliers through the center of these bearings. So the bearings are the right specification, which I got online and that's fine, st stainless steel, but the dowels are not. And I could not find the right size dowels. And that's because these, these devices, the Ploopies are 3D printed, you know, they're designed open source with blueprints and stuff, they're not necessarily following some standardized metric schema. They're building it how they wanna build it. And so when they 3D print these dowels, they 3D print them just how they want them. They're, they're not trying to follow some protocol. So you're probably not going to be able to find third-party dowels to replace the bearings. And actually that's not the most important part because you can actually reuse your existing dowels. The most important part is the dowel press. So this dowel press is meant to fit this size of dowel, both the length of the dowel and the bearing being perfectly centered on that length. The fact that these are plastic rather than metal and the diameter of the dowel. So what I did previously was I, I got this third party metal dowel and I just shoved it in the center and I, and I found what I consider to be the center. Unfortunately, it goes back and forth on the dowel and that's that's a no-go that causes a lot of difficulty in moving the ball i've been using this for a couple of months while i waited for the repair kit it works it's not the end of the world it's still a functional mouse and i'm able to use it smoothly just not as smoothly as when the bearings were new so what you'll do is you will either remove the dowel from your existing ploopy you're going to have to just very carefully find some method of pushing it through you do not want to try to squeeze and pull it through because these are plastic, you'll ruin the plastic. And you can see I did that with mine. The pinch on the end there makes this dowel uh, unusable now. So you'll have to find a way to push the dowel through the bearing, or you can just use the replacement dowel that it comes with. And so you'll take this replacement dowel and you'll put it in the center there and you'll put the bearing in the little hole there and you'll combine them like that and then you'll press it on through and it goes it's actually quite smooth it's really easy 
And there you go. Now you have your bearing is on the dowel and it's not going to move back and forth. The thickness of the plastic and the, and the material itself prevents it from moving back and forth. And then you put this flat side in uh, towards, towards the back and then you just squeeze it in. Easy peasy. So one more time, we're going to take the existing bearing. You just take tweezers and you pull it out. It's actually really easy. I thought you'd have to, I thought there'd be more to it. I'm just going to put this aside. I'm not going to try to salvage the bearing or the dowel. And I'm going to put this guy in the hole there. And then I'm going to take their replacement bearing and I'm going to put it on in here. And then I'm going to squeeze them together and then push. And then out comes your replacement bearing. So the conclusion is these are very easy to replace, but you do, but you do need the replacement kit. If you don't already have that dowel press, which you would have gotten if you built this thing yourself from a build kit. If instead you bought this pre-built, then you'll need to buy the repair kit separately. And it was about $20, I think, um, plus shipping, plus tariffs, uh, plus wait time. So maybe $30, $35. But once you buy it once, you'll have this dowel press available for all future replacements. And you can reuse your existing dowels. You just have to be careful when you're pushing them through to remove them from the old bearings. And then the last tip is rather than use the replacement bearings that the Ploopy kit comes with, buy third party stainless steel bearings of the same specification. And that way, you may never have to replace the bearings again because they won't rust because they're stainless steel. And just like that, my ploopy is as smooth as the day I got it.